Never mind all that amateur stuff, this video of the Great Bay Area Fireball of 2012 is the real deal, straight from NASA. The meteor was so bright it blew out the exposure on the research cameras, but scientists can still use it to calculate its speed, size, and ultimately where it landed. NASA researcher Peter Yaneskins is one of the country's top meteor experts and captured the event on a network of computers and highly sensitive cameras. This is one of three Bay Area sites designed to record meteor showers. So 20 cameras? 20 cameras, each pointing at different directions in the sky. Yaneskins says it was traveling at more than 8 miles per second. It entered the atmosphere off the coast of Monterey, heading northeast and made landfall somewhere in the North Bay. All I'm hoping is that this trajectory, this orbit, will find uh, uh, a little remnant on the ground, a piece that somebody finds that we uh, can then trace back to where it may have come from in space. Near Martinez, meteor hunters were out in force, armed with their own gadgets and all looking to get rich. I've got a pretty good idea of where I might find some fragments. I could be wrong. Can you share those uh, information with us? <laughs> <laughs> what, you're going to take away from my pocketbook or what? i got children to feed. <laughs> Yaneskin says finding the meteorite fragments is key. It'll help link that fireball to the right asteroid belt and perhaps give us some insight into ourselves. They all tell a story about our origins, uh, how the Earth was formed, how life uh, originated on our planet. And uh, those are the questions that uh, interest us.